right? He's going to get very drunk. And, and, you know, pots and kettles. Yeah. When we started, I was a drunk, wasn't I? That one gig, yeah. yeah. That was, was, I never noticed. No, no. That's because he was... He was very... He was in a terrible state. I mean, I have never known men, grown teenagers, reduce themselves to such a shambolic fucking mess. You could have stopped there. You could have just said, I have never known men. I could have said that. I never noticed that. No. You seem to be an awful long way away over there. Is there some sort of... Oh, thank you. It's more like, that way more like a combo. Bruce wants us to become the Lembright Combo Group. Band. Band. And then I thought that the Lembright Combo singers and dancers would be really good. You don't want to see them. One step at a time. Yeah. One step at a time. Yeah. Yeah.
the golden hour of Harry Seeker. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's real hot in this joint. Can we, we play something that we've never played before? Not even in a rehearsal. <laughs> Do hang about. I'm gonna get another guitar on the go for this. Well, if you're gonna get another guitar, yeah, we we both get other guitars. You see, ten guitars. Ten guitars would be fuck me. You've lost a lot of hair, haven't you? Since. <laughs> this ain't any old guitar. This is the bottom guitar. Yes, yes, it is. You like the guitar strap? It's a. Uh, I was really pleased, I thought it was quite sort of Dave Clark 5, and then <laughs> Bloody Gibbs looked at it and said it was a bit more Rob Halford, and I've kind of not enjoyed it ever since.
bass drum. The uh, promoter's on the stage. He's asked us to wrap this up because...
will be called, I think, I don't know, I mean, well, I don't think we're doing that one because it was too complicated for our aged state of mind and frame of reference. What? Does anyone want their money back? It's a load of old toilet, isn't it? We're probably not going to get paid, you know, they're all fly by fucking night. Yeah. That's too fucking slick! That's yeah. too, too slick! <laughs> Aye, you sound like Mitch Ewer. Oh, I met him once. I mean, they did such a marvellous job, didn't they, raising all that money? <laughs> yeah, what I do? Uh... It's called Swimming Against the Tide. <laughs> start if you like, you want it you're all fucking on your fucking high horse about fucking starting the number. I give you, I say, okay, you start the number. You stand there like a big fucking banana. What the fuck? I'm fucking leaving. That's it. It's been like this all fucking day. It's been fucking awful. Cunts. I'll dance for that. I'm just enjoying being a sideman, it's good. 
and I forgot that I've got to introduce this one. Oh, really? <laughs>
Three what? Weeks? Fucking hell. There's a lot of testosterone gone into that then. <laughs> I've got a townhouse dwelling in a terror street. Drive a GTI, wear Gucci shoes. I'm out in place, gosh, to keep and trim in the winter time, but in the summer.
How far? It's, it's, it's very tightly choreographed, you know, because of the coaches. <laughs> This is one we've never ever played live before. Never, ever, ever. And just to make matters worse, we changed the key as well. <laughs> How do you know you've changed the key if you've never played it before? Well, I wrote it and it starts on a it starts on an F F sharp flourished, seventh demolished, I see yeah. Fourth abandoned. Sophie's only nine years old and she's been blessed with twelve tiny toes and no one knows about them.
time. We're all three of us lucky to both be alive. They say... One, two, three. <laughs> three old fools that used to be a combo. If we had a pair of pliers, we could pull the nail out, straighten it, and bang it back in again. Yeah, Which is what we've it. done here. We've fucking banged the nail back in. The nail is one and truly screwed into place. It's, a, it's the new era signature Bruce Brand model woodblock. Opening attention span of zero. Go, go, go. You can't see the woodworm from there. You can't see the cracks in it, but the tonality of this thing is the same as it was on the day that it was conceived in an attic in the Medway towns. They say we're lucky to both be alive. And some people say we were This is the first sell-out show that we've ever done in our existence as a comrade. I think we're, 
we're going to become a group. Or at least the Lambright singers and dancers. That's my dream.
going to get expensive. Sat bass on there like Richie Blackmore. <laughs> Me and Richie. Well, that was you do that medieval music now. Yes. Oh, come on! I'd sit there in my room with my jester's hat on. I <laughs> oh, would like to play one of my uh, Afro-Cuban numbers. That, uh, <laughs> Spent so much time with those beautiful people over there. Selena! We've done that one, you cunt! Nobber! My childhood. Really? Okay. Um, there's a girl, a great big girl, and all who've ever seen her, they know that every time she breathes, she's like a concertina. When she was young, she bought a small mouth organ for a tanner. She swallowed it, and ever since they called her Weezy Anna. Weezy Anna, Weezy Anna, all together out down where the water melons go. And they got big pips in Weezy Anna, Weezy She's the grandest girl I know. Oi. Who's got teeth that are so white? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll. <laughs> Weezy Anna. 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 Don't let the fire in. Come. 
Luscious Mr. Bruce Brand on the drums there, ladies and Well, Kings, of course, on the uh, uh, Paso Pro Fundo. And, and Mr. Eric Golden on the guitar and vocals and all those bloody wonderful songs, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. We bloody know, and some we don't. Um, Jewish. I kind of run out of tunes here, but never mind. Yeah. <laughs> New Rose. No, we're going to. Uh, we, we decided, like, when we first played, like, we got this review because the reviewer had never seen the band that played six songs. Played them again in a different order, and then again in a different order to that. And we got this stellar kind of review, and all other bands were jealous of us because we'd only ever learned six songs. So in 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 respect of that, we're going to start at the front again. We just uh, fuck up the first. We're just going to fuck up the first tune we played tonight. But for anyone who came late, we're going to. We're going to bugger off and you can dance all night to the discotheque. I remember like we used to always pack up our gear and that, that fucking talking heads thing was going on the road to nowhere and we're picking up cables and drums and we're on the road to nowhere. You'll never work again. Oh yeah, yeah. We only did it for fun after that. This is that. the big time. Yeah. Made much more money doing it for fun than we ever did for working.
Banana Rama and the Fanboy Free.